back guys welcome back to my channel today girl we're gonna be, do, be doing a beauty haul with miss a basically girl I spent $35 okay for 23 items and we're basically gonna get ready and test out a whole bunch of new stuff that I have never tried before and we're gonna be you know seeing what it's basically all about if you guys haven't heard of miss a girl where have you been I feel like they've been around forever and <laughs> literally everything on their website is super affordable they have items for literally a dollar most of majority of the stuff that I picked is a dollar if not like a dollar fifty five a dollar eighty eight and they're cruelty free they make affordable beauty affordable for everyone everyone and they're just you know with so many options on their website by the way they don't only have beauty they have like bath bombs they have like they have so much stuff it's like definitely worth giving a try and just like browsing through their website just to see what every what they have in there because you might really find a really great option shipping honestly was pretty quickly keep in mind this video is sponsored by miss a so thank you so much for sponsoring it today's video but keep in mind my thoughts and opinions are going to be 100 percent my own you're obviously going to see me do my makeup as well so you're going to make your own judgment for yourself so i'm I'm very excited for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Everything will be listed down below in the description box. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And let's jump on in, girl, and get ready for the day. We're gonna start off with our base. I've already prepped my skin for today's video, so I've already applied on like my skincare sunscreen. And in case you're interested, I will have that link down below in the description box. So we're gonna go ahead and start with concealer. That is usually the first step. And I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors concealer. And this is in shade light medium 11. I absolutely love this concealer you guys it blends really nicely it doesn't dry down too quickly and gives me the coverage that I'm looking for and I love the doe foot applicator and so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the areas where I typically conceal down the bridge of the nose upper lip chin area and forehead as well and before i blend i like to go in with the rare beauty foundation and this is in the shade 230 neutral it is pretty runny but the coverage is really really nice and now to blend everything out i'm actually going to go in with my beauty sponge and i'm just going to go ahead and just blend everything together and then anything that i have left over on my sponge i'm just going to go ahead and drag it down the neckline as well just because i want everything to be really nice and blended as one. Now that we finished on our base, I'm gonna go in with the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Banana Powder, you guys. This is literally a dollar. Love the size of it. I'm not a huge fan of loose banana powder, but you know what? I've learned to love them because I feel like they're so much more finely milled. So I'm gonna go in with my LMR Cosmetics Brightening Brush, and I'm just gonna apply on a little bit of this powder on the back of the top. And then with my brush, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the powder and then set all the areas where I've applied on concealer throughout the T-zone area. And now for face powder, I'm going to go into the Urban Decay, I think it's called Stay Naked, The Fix, <laughs> setting powder. This is a foundation powder, and this is shade 50NN. I absolutely love this powder, you guys. I quickly finished it. I'm so, so sad, but I absolutely love the undertone to it. It holds up my makeup throughout the entire day, and it gives me the coverage that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go in with my face powder brush from Will techniques I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of the areas throughout my face where I have foundation and so now we're gonna go ahead and contour and I picked up two different shades because I wasn't really sure which shade would work best for me and how they'd look in person so I picked up latte and I also picked up frap and this is the AOA studio perfect bronzer powder and you guys this is a really good size again they're both cruelty free a dollar and I think I'm gonna go in with latte just because I feel like has a really nice undertone. Let me show you really quickly, just so you can see for yourself. Just because I feel like Frap would work too, but I don't know, I feel like Latte, we can give a try Latte, and if it's a little too orange in the undertone, we can jump into Frap. So I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty brush. This is the 107 brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of powder, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start contouring down the side of the forehead, cheekbone area and jawline area as well and then dragging it down the neckline. I just finished contouring. I did go in slightly with frap just because I was really curious and I only did one little layer but I love latte. Latte is definitely a really pretty shade. I did notice that I no fallout when it came to like dipping my brush into the pan so I'm really impressed. I really love the size and the packaging. Perfect for travel. It's really nice and compact. Love the price point of dollar and literally it blends 
like butter on the skin and I really am impressed you guys I really love the undertone didn't notice any patchiness or anything it's really easy to blend everything out so for brows I'm actually gonna go in with the AOA studio sculpting brow pencil and this is in shade medium brown it is a dual end so one end obviously has the pencil it is automatic and the other end has our spoolie which I love that they included that literally again this is a dollar you guys <laughs> and I really love the undertone it reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow was, which is one of my all-time favorite brow pencils and you guys know here traditionally I like more of a thicker brow pencil so I'm really excited to try this out so I'm just gonna go ahead and start on my brows at the edge and lightly shading them through and so far it feels really creamy I like the undertone it doesn't have like a weird reddish undertone and so far so good so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish doing my brows off a camera and I'll be right back and give you guys an update if I notice anything weird about this brow pencil. Brows are on. Let me tell you, I'm not even joking you guys, this brow pencil for a dollar, I'm amazed. I'm surprised. I can't believe how creamy the formula is, how pigmented it is at the same time, but the undertone to the pigmentation is really, really nice. I didn't have any issues whatsoever drawing in my brows, especially blending out my brows after drawing them in. It's really nice. I'm really impressed by the formula. I love the affordability of it. So this is definitely something that I'm gonna keep using even after this video especially because it is literally a dollar you guys I'm super impressed and for our eyes I picked up two different eyeshadow palettes and I also picked up two different blushes I'm not lying to you from the eyeshadows to the blushes they look exactly the same from one another and I went in and purchased the this is from the cherry blossom collection and this is called the Sakura season eyeshadow palette love the flowers on there love that it's clear and it comes with nine different eyeshadow shades in this palette which is really pretty you guys know here on my channel I love a good nude and I love the color source so I'm really excited to try this out and it literally is a dollar and 88 cents the other eyeshadow palette is a lot smaller but it comes with eight different eyeshadow colors it runs for a dollar 88 it came in the mail slightly broken so I did my best to like press down onto the eyeshadows to kind of salvage the palette but it is so so pretty I'm really excited to try it out again perfect everyday type of like neutral nude eyeshadow shades so we're definitely going to use a little bit of both and as for the blushes let me show you really quickly because they look exactly the same and I'll give you guys more detail once we get to blushes but look they look exactly the same right <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in I've already primed my eyes I'm gonna go in with a flat shadow brush and I'm just gonna apply on a little bit of this nude shadow that's right here in the corner of the palette I'm just gonna go and apply it throughout my lid as my base shade for our crease i'm actually going to go in to all the smaller eyeshadow palette this is called ochata ochato <laughs> and i'm going to go in with my luxie 205 tapered blending brush and i'm going to pick up a little bit of this really pretty kind of like soft peach shadow and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of that shadow and apply it within the crease of the lid, doing windshield wiper motions. I want something a little bit more rich, so I'm actually gonna go into this orangey shadow back into the Sakura Season palette, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of shadow. So far, I have not noticed any fallout when it comes to these eyeshadows, so so far, I am really impressed, just because I was like honestly expecting you know a little fallout, especially since they're so affordable. So I'm just gonna go in and back into the crease of the lid and apply on the shadow within the crease doing windshield wiper motions and building the pigmentation and now going into the ochato palette i'm going to go in to that really dark chocolate brown that's in here i'm going to use the same blending brush that we were just using because i feel like it's like the perfect size to go into those small little pans and <laughs> i'm just going to go ahead and apply within the corner of the I blending it in to the lower crease of the lid and of course we're gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line I'm gonna go back into the Sakura season palette I'm gonna go in with my Luxie this is a 217 tapered brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in the lower lash line connecting it to the upper lash going back into the Ochota palette I'm gonna go in with my beach cosmetics tapered blending brush and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that chocolate brown and apply it on the lower lash line I usually like to do this last step towards the end like when I'm about to curl my lashes but for some reason I just want to apply this on just so I can get a feel for the look that I'm creating so I'm going to go in with the AOA studio gel eyeliner and this is in shade dark brown this is literally a dollar and you guys let me quickly do a quick swatch it is so creamy the consistency 
I'm super excited. I love the undertone to it. So I'm going to quickly apply an inner lining of the eye and then we'll jump on in and finish on our eyes. And I really want to finish on the look with a little bit of shimmer. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm thinking about using two of these eyeshadows here in the center of the lid because this really pretty one has like a pinky undertone and it is beautiful. I quickly did a swatch. Look at that, you guys. It is so, so pretty. The center blush, it almost looks like it has like a coppery undertone. But let me show you. It is just so pretty. Love the undertone that it has. I feel like it kind of has like a pinky undertone that will work really well with the blush that I'm about to apply on. So I think I'm going to go with those two. And I'm actually going to use my finger. And I'm just going to go and apply it this coppery brown or these like yeah coppery brown shimmer shade in the center of the lid i'm gonna go in with my ring finger which by the way i've already cleaned i'm gonna go into that really pretty like frosty baby pink shadow i'm just gonna go and apply it in the corner tear duct of the eye connecting it with the other shadow and for eyeliner i'm actually gonna do this off camera because it's a lot of pressure to do it on camera <laughs> the eyeliner that i'm gonna use for today is the aoa this is called the artist fine tip liquid eyeliner this is a dollar the shade that i picked up is in the shade brown and let me quickly show you how pigmented it is you guys because it is so pigmented love the undertone to it and i'm really excited to just do a little you know a little cat eye winged liner so I'll be right back so I just finished on my eyes and let me tell you that eyeliner is really really nice very pigmented I didn't have any issues in doing my winged liner surprisingly I actually should have filmed it on camera and it's just really nice I like the point to it it's actually not a felted point tip to it I'll throw an up close clip so you can get a better view of how it looks but it's like a little brush applicator and I actually really liked it so so far so good I'll definitely keep using it love the undertones to more of a brown liner than a black jet black liner so we're gonna move on to blue lash and I'm gonna go in first probably like on the left side we're gonna go ahead and try out the Tr princessa true fusion blush this is retails for a dollar in the shade hot pink and I really like it you guys old school but I love it it reminds me of when I first started like my makeup collection and you can always depot this and put it like in a fancier pan if you really want to as for the next blush that we're gonna probably apply on the left side or maybe combine both maybe we'll just combine both and we're gonna go in with the AOA studio this is in the cherry blossom cherry blush awesome collection again cruelty free these products vegan and this is Kyoko I think that's your pronunciate this blush shade it is just so pretty let me open this up so you guys can get a better view out there also their up close clips of these swatches to these blushes just looks like the prettiest blush shade and I love how small it is like perfect if you're traveling and you're just trying to like maximize your space so I'm gonna go in first with Kyoko I think that's how you pronounce it I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics angled blush brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this blush and I'm just gonna go and apply it on the top of my cheekbones kind of angling it up to an upward motion and so far it is looking really pigmented and so so pretty you guys look at that there's a little fallout I'm not gonna lie but the blush shade is just so pretty like I honestly don't even mind it because it's blending effortlessly on the skin for just for the fun of it let's go ahead and apply the other blush on the other side of my face I'm gonna go in with my this is called my firmer beauty angled blush brush this is the 103 brush I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product and so far there isn't any fallout once I'm dabbing my brush into the pan but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the top of my cheekbones applying it in a slight upward motion just so you can kind of not kind of but basically lift the face just slightly and so far it's blending really really nicely and maybe I should pick up a little bit more product just because I feel like it's a little subtle compared to the other blush shade but so far it is really really nice now that I've applied on both blushes I'm not even gonna lie they look completely different I don't know what I was thinking when I was looking at them side by side in person <laughs> who knows how it's gonna look on camera but I really love both of the blushes they blended really nicely on the skin and I didn't have any issues I love the undertones to them they're definitely really really pretty and I really like it I'm gonna say that when it comes to this blush there's barely any fallout like literally no fallout it blended really nicely you do have to work to to build the pigmentation when it comes to this blush but it's really nice literally for a dollar like what do you expect as for the other blush it is really really pretty I love it and I typically am not a big fan of pinky blush shades but I love the undertone looks really nice subtle natural and it just blended really nicely love the pan size to it there is a little fallout but because it's so beautiful this blush shade you guys I am willing to work 
with this. It's just so pretty and honestly I feel like it just looks so nice on the skin. And now we're going to go into highlighter and I picked up a highlighter. This is the AOA Paw Paw Glow Within Illuminating Powder. This retails for a dollar. 55 and literally the pen size you guys is so big this will last you such a long time and this is in the shade brunch date I do want to mention that it arrived to me in pieces and I tried my best to like press it down so I can salvage this highlighter So I'm gonna quickly do a quick swatch on the back of my hand so you can see how pretty this highlighter is It's really really nice. I'm really excited to apply it on so I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty 201 brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product and then I'm just going to apply it on the edge of my nose. It's really where I like to highlight at the edge of my chin and upper lip. So for our lips, I picked up so many different lip liners, lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks. Like I'm super excited and I feel like they're going to tie our look together really nicely. So I'm going to quickly give you a quick run through. I'll throw up close clip swatches of each of these lip shades. So the first one is the AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick. And the two shades that I picked up is Nom Nom. And the other, it is called Nude. They're just so pretty. You guys know here on my channel, I love a good nude. One looks more of like a pink peachy lip color and the other one looks like more of like a terracotta more of a, like a pecan which I feel like it's gonna look so pretty with our look and I also picked up the lip liner which is the AOA Studio Wonder lip liner and this is in shade Nom Nom so I feel like it'll complement the peachy matte liquid lipstick and then I also picked up AOA Studio lip liner and this is shade Love Note which is like a beautiful like light nude lip color it looks really nice perfect if you're trying to over dry your lips but you don't want it to look too obvious I feel like that would go work really really nicely so as for the last product I picked up a matte lipstick and this is the AOA Studio Wonder lipstick and this is in the shade caramel it is just so pretty the consistency is definitely really matte I this reminds me so much of the Milk Cosmetics matte lipsticks and this also reminds me I think it's called Zaddy the one I ended up really loving that looks familiar similar and I also it also reminds me of the Nova Beauty toned matte lipstick it's just so pretty love it I love to apply this like in the center of your lips to give like that pout effect and a little ombre effect so it gives your lips a little bit more dimension so I think I'm going to go in with love note caramel the matte lipstick just to add a little bit of that pout effect and then I'm going to go in with nude this really pretty like pecan color so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on and then I'll be right back and actually changed my mind I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to line my lips because look how creamy the consistency is the shade is just so so pretty and I really like it even just alone it looks really nice on really natural and subtle but still really pretty and I'm gonna go in with nude our matte lipstick and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it wrap my lips and look how pigmented so so pretty I really love the undertone does it have a scent it does have a scent but it smells really yummy like candy but in a soft scented way and it does have a doe for applicator which you guys know I love and so far it doesn't feel drying on the lips but I love the undertone to it it's really really pretty and now I'm gonna go in with caramel the matte liquid lipstick and I'm just gonna go and apply it in the center of my lips all right you guys and this is basically it I have finished getting ready and I absolutely love how the look turned out you guys the lip combo so so pretty love the undertone blushes were amazing a bronzer girl I feel so bronzed up and I love it and I absolutely love the eyeshadows I'm surprised how pigmented they were and how they blended and I really love the eye look that I've created for today the eyeliner like even the gel liner it's all really really nice and I'm honestly blown away that literally I spent $35 and I was able to basically have a full look so I feel like this is perfect if you're on a budget if you just want a good deal and you just don't want to spend literally like $10 on just an eyeliner or even $10 or $15 on an eyeshadow palette like I Feel like this is a really great option because I feel like there's some true gems for us to try out out there this literally is really really nice you guys I love the look that I turned out and comment down below on your thoughts I'd love to know if you've ever tried Miss A love the affordability love the fact that it's cruelty free like they care about animals like how do you not love that so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have any questions comment down below ask away thank you so much Miss A for sponsoring today's video and as always I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye